Good morning, welcome to Hating TV. I hope everyone's having a great day. Uh, the sun is out ish, but it is still windy here. So, this morning, I am washing the Lodal 536, and I am then going to be washing the Fast Track 4220 that I drive. Uh, basically, at the moment, uh, dung, hopefully. Fingers crossed my cousin doesn't ring me up to do anything after I've washed these straight away because they're going to do my head in. But clean these guys off. This one is being dirty now for quite a while. The fast track, again, same scenario. Muddy, covered in poo, covered in dust, covered in everything else, oil, whatever it's covered in, it needs to be cleaned off. Reason I haven't done so up to this point is the pressure washer went wrong, which I'll show you right now. So I will speak up for this as I'm out in the wind. This is our old still RE551 plus hot wash pressure washer. Had a diesel burner. As you can see, we had a major malfunction where this little bad boy caught on fire. So, we have been unable to wash anything. And we've been waiting for our new one to arrive. So, a bit of a surprise in a minute what we got. But as you can see, this is unfixable and totally written off. So let's grab the load all first. Whilst I drive down to the bottom yard, if anyone wants to find us on any other forms of social media, we are on Twitter as the Haiti TV. There you can directly talk to us. He is in complete control of Twitter and he's in complete control of Snapchat. God help us all. If he's rude, I apologise, he's just like that. But whatever he says, just give it back to him. He'll love it. He loves the bands. We are also on Instagram. I will, as soon as I get a chance, link them all up to YouTube so they can be found easy. Here we are now. Let's get washing and see what we've got to wash with. We've recently just gone for a Nilfisk new pressure washer hot wash, which we've tested it a bit and it's pretty good. I'm gonna retest it in a minute because we've just sort of blasted it around the yard here, but this is gonna be pretty much the first time it's really, really got in nitty gritty to tractors. We heard really, really good stuff on this. Uh, we looked them up a lot, uh, along with some other mates. But this is what we've gone from, gone for. Uh, it's also handy that one of our local reps um, distribute these. So let's see what it's like. As you can see, diesel burner unit, electrics on this side, takes detergent, soap, intake pipe is there, lance which disconnects. We've got different settings for the lance. On the back, heat settings, pressure settings, fuel settings, and B. Uh, can they have cold wash, hot wash, and there's pressure dial. As you can see, it is a meaty bit of machinery. It's even got a handbrake. Right, so I'll quickly connect this bad boy up and we'll get this thing washing. Thank you. 
So some little things I'm finding in the Nilfist. Our water pressure isn't quite enough to feed it. So every now and again it's having a bit of a stoppage. Um, not that its performance is bad, but like you know, you just got to wait for the little tank on it to fill up again. I'm not using soap at the moment. I'm just using the hot wash on its own. And as you can see, uh, the heat of the water takes off mud and dust absolutely perfect. There is a little bit of method in the madness. So on low doors, I tend to go for this side first. Then I do on top. So I find that everything always wants to blast this way. Also with the wind direction today, the wind is blowing to us now. So all dirt particles are all coming this side. The other side, obviously on a low door or Taliana, it's looks like straight down. So being straight down, you don't get, well, when I get to doing that side, I'm blasting most of it downwards so it isn't going back over the top of the machine. So now I've done the top and the top of the boom, I'm going to drop the boom so I can do the headstock. Then I'm going to lift the boom all the way up and do underneath it and the sides and the side of the bit of the window on this side that I haven't done. And then I'll have a chat again in a minute. Something I forgot to say is after doing the top, or after doing the side, then the top, I redo the side last with all the bits gone, the little bits that you see that have dropped down um, because they clean off really quickly. And that's why I do it. Everyone else probably has a different way of doing it. If you've got a different way of doing it, let me know in the comments below. and it's the most tedious job ever. clean. And there we go. We have a clean ish Telehandler. Not gonna lie, it is not perfect. Missed a little bit of mud there on that wheel rim, but it'll get another clean before we go into harvest. Um, most of the dirt on it is dust anyway. Little bit of a change of plan. Not gonna be watching the fast track now. I'll do that in another video uh, because I've got a rush out on a delivery uh, that's come in. So I'm just washing this one only. Plus. Telehandlers always take longer than I ever imagined because you've got to climb on top of them, you've got to go on in the middle of them, you've got to raise the boom, you've got to put the boom down. And it is just a bit of a faff. It's one of the most tedious things I ever have to do. But at the same time, don't think it's fair on getting everyone to do all the crap jobs. Um, 
rather as a team that we all split jobs that we don't want to do amongst us um, and do it that way uh, rather than just shifting it on someone else. Um, I think that's like pretty out of order if if that did happen. So thank you for watching. Give a thumbs up if you like this video and what you saw of this one getting cleaned and the pre new pressure washer that we've got. Um, if you haven't yet done so, please subscribe. It would be great. We'd like to see how uh, far we can push this channel. Uh, if you have got any questions on the Nilfisk pressure washer, uh, leave a comment below and I will ask, answer your questions. Again, as said earlier, we are now on Twitter where you can talk directly to his Royal Shortness um, and Snapchat, again, where he is able to communicate with everyone. And I am able to be found on Instagram or answering all questions on the YouTube channel. So thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next one.